Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to my YouTube. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film so many videos here talking all about spirituality and relationships and emotional regulation and so, so much more. And for this video, I want to talk about how to tell when it's time to end your relationship. And this is something that I've ignored <laughs> so many times throughout my life and all of these relationships that I've been in and I just like would hold on to them for way longer than I should have and now I've come to understand how to tell when it's actually time for it to end and the main thing for me to do with any kind of relationship even if it's like family or work or anything at all is about communication so like being able to communicate with absolutely anything will determine when it's time to end and I feel like for a lot of people they're just in the wrong relationship like there's a lot of incompatibility there and that's why it needs to end but like if you were actually with the right person and stuff and you were able to communicate then it would work and it would last and this is something that I've experienced more recently now with my partner because we have obviously had a baby and that is the ultimate make or break type of situation, you know? Like, it's kind of a do or die type of thing when you have a child because there's just so much that goes on with it and communication becomes the absolute key with that especially because there's so much to it and so much that we have to navigate together, you know? And I really feel like it comes down to being able to communicate and being able to express how you feel and be vulnerable and allow the other person to do the same and actually listen to understand rather than trying to respond and stuff and being able to get on the same page with everything but ultimately if you're not compatible it doesn't matter how much you try to communicate it's just not going to work you know and I feel like for a lot of people they're trying to be with somebody that it's just not working with so really look at like are you on the same page? Are you going in the same direction? Do you want the same things? You know, like, do you trust each other? Are you able to be authentic and be who you are and be yourself around them? Do you feel free or do you feel suffocated? I'm really looking at the compatibility because if you're trying to like, think of ways to communicate and trying to express how you feel and stuff but the other person's not actually receiving it and they're not able to make those changes because you're not compatible like maybe you're not going in the same direction then it doesn't matter how many times you tell them that they've hurt you or how many times you tell them how you feel and what you want out of life if they don't want the same things or if they're not trying to communicate with you then it's just not going to work you know like you can be in this loop and I have definitely been in this loop a million times where like you want something and you're afraid to express it or you want something and you do express it but they don't make the changes that you're asking for or you want something but they don't want that either you know and so all of those different scenarios it's just not going to work and it may be time to actually end the relationship especially if you're repeating the same cycle over and over again and no matter how many times you talk about these things and you get back together and you try and figure it out but it just doesn't work because you're not on the same page you're not going in the same direction and you're stuck in a loop and I feel like there is a way for you to come out of that and to still be together but it requires actually being compatible you know like and actually wanting the same things and going in the same direction and both being willing to do the work and if you're not or if one of you is and one of you isn't or if neither of you are or if you're not sure how to make it work then maybe it's just not the right relationship for you and it might be time to end it but I think the key is about actually being able to work together to go in the same direction so like really looking at compatibility and seeing if you want the same things if you have the same values and like if your life path looks similar, you know, you're gonna have different interests and stuff, but like the ultimate direction that you're going in needs to be the same. 
So looking at that and seeing if you're actually compatible and then if you are being able to communicate through any and all obstacles that come your way because there's obviously going to be things that come up throughout your life especially because we get older, we change, the other person changes, what we're interested in might change and stuff so like being able to grow together and go in the same direction and really see if that's something that can actually happen through communication. You're going to need to be able to be vulnerable and feel safe enough to be vulnerable with them and express how you feel and allow them the freedom to actually do that as well and allow each other the freedom to be ourselves I feel like that's where a lot of compatibility um like where a lot of incompatibility comes in because if they're not free to be who they are and to pursue their interests and their hobbies or their dreams and goals whatever that may be and if they're not free to be able to be themselves you know and like go out with their friends and do whatever it is that they want to do if you can't give them the freedom to be that and they don't give you the freedom to do that then it's not really going to work is it because like if one person wants to go out with their friends and you're constantly telling them no they're just going to feel a bit suffocated you know so I feel like knowing where your boundaries are knowing what your standard is knowing what you will and won't accept and being able to express that and communicate that especially from the beginning but even now if you're already in it and you keep going around in a loop being able to communicate what those things are what your non-negotiables are right now so that you can actually figure out whether you're compatible and get on the same page you know like really it just comes down to communication but sometimes we're trying to mold people into something that they're not you know like if they're interested in something that you really hate then it's not gonna work do you know what I'm saying because in order for them to be compatible with you they have to drop this thing that they love and if it's something that they love and that they're passionate about then you shouldn't actually be asking them to give that up like that shouldn't be something that you expect of them is for them to change who they are in order to be compatible with you you know and that's not really very fair and some people agree to do that from the jump and they say yeah I'll, I'll stop being interested in that or I'll stop going out with my friends I'll stop this I'll stop that but ultimately you're making them shrink themselves and you're trying to get them to mold into something that they're not because when you first met them they were interested in that thing they were doing that thing and now you're trying to get them to stop it and that's just like basically asking them to shrink a part of themselves or to get rid of a part of themselves that they're obviously not going to be able to do no matter how many times they tell you that they will you know like if it's something that they love and something that they want then they may not be able to stop doing that thing or stop being that thing, you know? So finding somebody that you're actually compatible with where whoever they are, like the entirety of who they are, is in alignment with who you are and the direction that you're both trying to go in is so much easier and I've realized this for myself like instead of trying to change people and trying to create compatibility if you actually choose somebody that you're already compatible with then it's a lot easier that doesn't mean it's going to be easy all the time but it's just a lot easier to then be able to communicate through your differences and go in the same direction together you know and like obviously there's still compromise and stuff but like it's just a lot easier when you're actually on the same page and you want the same things rather than trying to mold people into something else so a sign that it's just time to end is if there's complete incompatibility and if you keep trying to communicate and it's just not working because you're not compatible the other person is not trying to do what you're trying to do or not putting in the effort that you're trying to put in and I would say communicate first, like try to communicate, express how you feel, allow them to express how they feel. And if there's still no change and you keep trying and keep trying, then maybe it's time to end, you know, because ultimately what's the point in going round and round and round in circles over and over again if there's no progress you're just keeping yourself stuck you're limiting your own happiness and joy and the amount of love that you could actually feel and I do think that we tend to stick around in these things because we fear that we can't get anything better or we fear how the other person will re react and how they'll treat us especially if we have children in the mix and stuff like fearing the outcome and that but how long do you want to stick in something that makes you absolutely miserable 
because your children will also pick up on that. That's not a dynamic that they need to witness and not the best example that you're setting for them is to just settle, you know, then they're gonna think that that's what they have to do. So like, it can be quite a toxic and damaging experience, not just for yourself, but for the other people witnessing it, you know, and also for the other person in it with you. Maybe it's time to set yourselves free and pick somebody that you're actually compatible with and if they're holding you hostage like that then they're not a good person in the first place. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's definitely about compatibility and that includes communication and the direction that you're going in and what you want out of life, you know, where you see yourself in 10 years. Do they see themselves in a similar situation or do you both want completely different things? Like really looking at all of that and then being able to communicate to each other to figure out whether you're going in the same direction or not and then having the courage to actually choose yourself and to stick by your standard, to stick with your boundaries and to make the necessary changes whether that's together or separately to make those changes that are needed but yeah i hope this video was helpful thank you so much for watching definitely check out the description box below for all links to everything about me including my music my crystal jewelry that i hand make myself my phone number to whatsapp me our group chat my podcast and everything else about me and i will see you in the next video hope you have the best week